Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks for joining me. Today we have the brand new Fugu from Citizen. This is the first Fugu with a textured dial. Uh, none of the Fugus that came before this have had any, any sort of textured dial. They've all just been, you know, solid colors and maybe like a, you know, a sunburst type of dial. Uh, but anyway, this is the first one with a textured dial. It's really, really cool. Anyway, this is model number NY0130-08E. And again, this is the brand new Fugu with the textured dial. Let's check it out. Guys, we'll get into this thing, but first check out my Amazon shopping channel if you like this or any of the other watches I've reviewed on my channel. As y'all know, I get a very, very small commission if you buy from my Amazon store. So whenever you do so, I really do appreciate it. So here you go, typical little mini scuba tank case from Citizen. You got the black outer watch box here. Here is the case. I love these little cases, man. I always have. And these come in different colors, man, depending on what part of the world you live in. Some of these cases are yellow, some of them are bigger. Uh, different limited edition and special editions have different color cases, like they have a gold one, they have a red one uh, for a couple different uh, limited edition models of these Fugus and some of their other automatics. Uh, so, you know, depending on the watch you get, you might get a different color case. So anyway, there's that. Let me show you the hang tag. Here is the hang tag right there. There's the hang tag, and of course underneath you just get like a little pamphlet uh, that tells you to go online for your warranty, your manual, all that good stuff. All right, so actually let's go ahead and take it out of the little mini scuba tank. There you go. Man, this is one of the best looking Fugus I think ever made. And see that textured dial right there? You can see it. It's got like a black seaweed look to it. Really, really interesting. And of course you got the yellow on the rehot right there, that little um, uh, kind of like, a, like a, um, a step down chapter ring right there. And then of course you got the yellow on the minute hand and that ye little yellow pop on the uh, arrow of the second hand. Really, really cool. All right, anyway, and of course I'll go ahead and put all the seven specs you need to know down there in the description field. And uh, anything else you want to um, check out with the watch, checked all of those other specs down there. Let me go ahead and give you all the seven specs you need to know right now. Let me put everything away here. All right. And whenever they have the crown down here, it always messes me up. I always want to do it like that. Anyway, so you're looking at a 44 millimeter stainless steel case. It's 13.3 millimeters thick. It's 48.5 millimeters lug lug. Again, it comes on this 20 millimeter polyurethane strap. Of course, it's uh, water resistant 200 meters, which is 660 feet. Uh, you got the 8204 movement inside, which is hacking and winding, obviously, with a 42 hour power reserve. These new Fugus do get the Sapphire Crystal. The old ones did not. Uh, that was one of the major upgrades of those ones I reviewed, you know, I guess about three or four years ago. Um, of course, you get a screw down crown, screw down case back. Again, if you want to check out all the specs, check down there in the description field for all of that good stuff. So guys, I mean, I love these things. Absolutely love these things. Uh, again, Citizen sponsored me, I don't know, three or four years ago. Let me go ahead and put that up. That's the review I did where they sent me four of the new Fugus, uh, and I reviewed all of those, and that's where they started to put the Sapphire Crystals on them, uh, and they really kind of you know, started stepping up their game with these Fugu watches. The engraved case back, they made it deeper. This engraved case back was made deeper. Um, I think they actually extended the crown just a tad as well. I love these crowns, by the way. Uh, I love the textured dial. Really, really cool textured dial on this thing. Again, I love that yellow rehot right there and all the little pops of yellow. Uh, but besides those changes, I mean, it's basically the same watch. Y'all know these come in multiple different colorways. Gosh, tons and tons of different colorways, but none of them have this textured dial, which I thought was really cool. I wanted to get one of these just for that fact. Um, really, really cool watches. Indexers are nice and big. They've got a nice chrome border around each one. Um, I, the only, the only thing really about the dial, the day and date window is not as legible as I would like it would, you know, like it to be. You know, this might be a case where they might want to put a candy bar Cyclops. I know some of y'all hate Cyclopses, but I think this would maybe benefit, uh, with some sort of Cyclops on it only because it's just not that legible unless you're in direct light. It's a little, like right there, it's great. 
but you tilt it just a little bit and it gets a little harder to read. Um, you know, maybe it's just me getting old. It probably is, but, um, I wish maybe, you know, the font they use was a little bit brighter or something, maybe a different background. I'm not quite sure, but that's my only thing about this watch is that day and date window. I mean, it's functional. It works fine, but I just wish it was a little bit more visible. I'm not quite sure how they could make that happen. Um, anyway, so, you know, typical Fugu, uh, bezel, 120 click bezel, perfect bezel, really, really nice. Gosh. One of the best bezels on the market. I mean, literally almost no, if any, backplate at all. I mean, literally, I don't I don't think this has any backplate, tell you the truth. You got your little indentations right there. Here's your crown. Really, really nice crown. Tons of knurling. Love this crown. Easy to screw in, easy to screw out. Your case, you got some polished sides right there on the top where the lugs are. It's brushed. And you got another polished side over here. Um... There are your lugs, here's your strap, there's your accordion strap. You got your two movable keepers. There's your tang and buckle, stainless steel tang and buckle. Here's the case back. Again, with these new ones, this etching is much deeper than it was before. But there's your screw down case back. All the information about the watch, you know, the movement. It's got a sapphire crystal, yada, yada, yada. You know, you only want to send this back to Citizen for any sort of repair. There's the underside of the crown right there so um i mean that's the basics of the watch all right guys let's go ahead and try this thing on i know it's going to fit because i tried it on before let's see here ah it fits great looks great too man i love that yellow pop really really love that yellow pop all right let's go ahead and kill the studio lights all right, let's get this monitor, get these monitors. All right, there's that one. There's this one. Really love to know y'all's thoughts on these texture dials. I love this Citizen proprietary loom. It's got like that cobalt blue to it. Really good looking loom. There you go. And it also makes reflections because the crystal has like a little bevel on it. So it makes like these little reflections on there, which you know, looks really cool. I've always liked Citizen Loom. All right, so there you go. Pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and cut everything back on. Tell me what y'all think of this thing, man. I mean, it does have a premium over the other ones, but I, like, I think it's like a $50 or $60 premium over just the regular Fugus. Do y'all think that is worth it? And if you want to get one of these, uh, head on over to Citizen site. They're about $550. I'll make sure to put that link down there in the description field. Again, I mean, they're, you know, they're pretty expensive, but you can, you know, check them out on Macy's. I think Macy's had a price of about $395 at the time I bought it. So check out Macy's, uh, check out Citizen site, see which sites you can get the best deal on. So uh, anyway, guys, as always, also make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification bell. It really does help the channel, and I really do appreciate it. And I'll make sure to put that link for the old review for those original four that came out a few years ago. Not once say original four. Those updated four that have the new sapphire crystal on there and the deeper engraving on the case back. Uh, and that's basically what this is, just with a new colorway, that new yellow chapter ring, and that new textured dial. I'm trying to show you that right there. Pretty cool, man. All right, guys, that's about it for this one. I will see you on the next review. Take care. Bye-bye.